So if you live in London, or even if you live near London, there's a good chance that you may have seen posters around town that look a little bit like this. Now, not completely like this, but just, you know, the gist of it, you know, a man in a blonde wig and another man next to him. And you may have wondered, what is this all about? Basically, this is a new show that opened in London a couple of weeks ago. It's not actually officially opened yet, but it's in previews. And it's a rock show. It's a musical, but it's a rock show. I want to see it um, in its second week of previews. And I really enjoyed it, and I really think that you should all go and see it. The musical is called Rock of Ages. You may have heard of it because it was originally done in America, in New York. It's a rock musical, obviously, so don't go there expecting like traditional classic musical songs. Every song performed in the musical is a rock song. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I mean, the thing is, I'm not a massive rock fan myself. I do like some rock songs and stuff, but I'm not like this massive fan who like, you know, only listens to rock songs and blah, blah, blah. But I still enjoyed it. I mean, like I said, I do love rock songs, but I'm not like crazy about them. I have to warn you that the music is very loud in the show, throughout the show. It almost feels like you're at a rock concert, really. But that's what makes it really fun, because it's like a really energetic, fun show. It has you smiling all throughout the show and rocking out and having fun. It was probably the most fun I've had watching a show. But yeah, like I said, because the music is very loud and the musical are rock songs, and so there's loads of drums going on and electric guitars, um, if, you don't, if you really don't like rock songs and rock music, um, then perhaps this musical isn't for you. But if you think you can handle about two and a half hours of loud rock music, then you should definitely go and see this show. The plot is very simple, very basic, very predictable. But that's not what the show's about. It's not meant to have like a really good plot. It's all about the music, really, essentially. The main character in the show is played by Oliver Tomsett, and he's called Drew. And Oliver Tomsett, for me anyway, makes the whole show. His voice is to die for. His voice is so amazing. I mean, wow, he hit some notes that I didn't even know existed. He has a very powerful, amazing voice, and I just love him in the role. Another favourite character of mine was um, Lonnie, who was played by Simon Lipkin. He is basically the joker of the show in a way. He's hilarious, he makes the show funny, he kind of makes the show what it is really, because if it wasn't for him, the show wouldn't be, like, as fun. But the thing is, apart from him being very funny in the role, he's also got a really, really good voice. So again, it works really well, he's just fantastic. Then we've got Shane Ward and Justin Lee Collins, and they basically used these two to advertise the show around um, London. And before I went to see the show, I thought that they'd have, like, the main roles, because, you know, you think that if they, they're on every poster and stuff, they would be, like, the main characters in the show. But the fact is that they're not. They're secondary characters, both of them. But that doesn't mean that they're not good. They're still in the show quite a lot, and they're both very, very good. Now, Justin Lee Collins, I'd heard of him, obviously, I've seen him on TV and stuff, but I was never a fan or anything, so I didn't know much about him. But he really surprised me in the show. He has a good voice, he's, he really suits the role, and, you know, he's, he's really good. Shane Ward was another person that people were very sceptical about. I wasn't, because I've loved him since his X Factor days, but a lot of people were like, oh my god, he's been, you know, stunt cast or whatever. But I think that he was fantastic in the show, and he definitely proved um, that he deserves to be in the show. His voice is fantastic, his acting is also very good, and he's just really cool and good looking. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to say about the show, I think. But yeah, go and see the show if you're coming to London, if, and if you really want to see like an amazing, fun show and have like a really fabulous night, you should go and see the show. Trust me, even if you're not really into rock, there's still going to be songs that you're going to recognise and enjoy. I mean, one of my university friends who's not really into theatre much um, messaged me the other day saying that she really wants to go and see this just based on the song list, because she knows all the songs. So yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. It's a really, really fun show. And yeah, if you go, feel free to let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Bye-bye. Sam, my God.